Today and tomorrow, we're going to give you two tools to help you in the planning. Okay. So the first one is what we call objective setting. So an objective for me is something, so if I look at, for example, that I want to climb the Everest mountain, okay, the objectives are the things, the important things I'm going to have to do in order to reach my final goal. Okay? So are the big stops that I need to do to reach that point. And I put these lines under these flags because for me an objective can be broken down into tasks. So there are many tasks, but there is kind of a main goal, main objective behind all the tasks that allow us to achieve that objective, that flag, okay, that we're putting in the mountain. And also, this is very um, common in project management tools, to say that objectives should be smart. Have you heard about this before, the smart? So good that you have never heard about it. <laughs> so basically, SMART stands for specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-bound. Okay, so the difference, main difference between a dream and an objective is this is like this needs to be tangible. This needs to be something that I know that I can achieve it. And for me, it's also the connection between the idea, the dream, the vision, and the earth. So by creating the objective, we're more connecting ourselves to what is real, what is practical, but still holding the energy of the dream and, and the vision in the same time. So, well, this is the theory around objectives. So this is what we're going to do. Okay? The process is the following. Each team, the first thing that needs to do is read again the dream in the past. Okay? Read the dream in the past tense. Okay, that's the first thing. Then each team is going to have 25 post-its. Okay? 25, 26. Okay, if you're six, well, 26. You need to divide it between the team members. Okay, so you, each of you gets the same amount of post-its. And then what do we do? Clean, clean a card. And as you know, in Dragon Dreaming, we love generative questions. So our generative question is going to be this one. What objectives we need to achieve in order to make 100% of our dreams come true in X months? So you need to decide this number together. Okay? So it's not that I think I'm going to commit six months and the other thinks that she's going to commit eight months. Okay? Together. You're going to write one smart objective per post-it. So what happens after I place my post-its is that the next person or everyone in the group can move the post-its. So meaning that if I, for example, see that this is not related to this, I can move it to another column. Okay? What we're okay. trying to do, we try to cluster using our collective intelligence, organize from our own understanding of organized, because I believe each one is a different type of organizer. But we try to connect when we cluster things that have a kind of connection, that we see a connection. Mm -hmm. And we're doing it without speaking. In silence. In silence. We're trusting the process. We're trusting ourselves. We're trusting the group that we can connect in this space of the collective intelligence. And we're starting to move until when? When it's ending, Julia? Uh, actually, here we're going to time uh, your time, but in, in normal or in reality, it would be until a hablis. So what I call a hablis is there is a moment where all the team is kind of oh. <sighs> looking at the thing and happy, feeling happy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's for me the hablis. So we start with the dream, and it was very kind of open, right? The dream and what is our, what we want to have. And then we start creating a bit objective for the next two, six months. And it starts a bit 
getting a bit more close to the reality. And now we're doing another step and converging a little bit more, okay? And kind of taking all the energy of the dream and then the first step of the objective and turn it into something more clear, more concrete. Each pair taking one or two, depend on the number that we have, of column, okay? Let's say we're gonna take this one, okay? So what we're doing, we're taking them aside. We're going to a table or we're finding a place we want to work, okay? Yeah. And we're creating a main objective. What is the main objective? It's an objective that will represent all of those objectives that we wrote. And how are we doing it? First thing, we're marking the keywords. Okay, so we're going and found a cozy, suitable place for activities. To find a good place, find the place to the meeting, three months. To find a place for meeting, create atmosphere. Okay? So place seems So place like is important, important, right? Place, 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 place. place. Find. Find, 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 find. find. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think also the word meeting, repeating two meeting. times. Uh, a good place. Yeah. Uh, a good place for meetings and activities, maybe? Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. To find a good place for meeting and activities. Look how amazing it is. Different people thought about the same, about the same objective. So it means that we need just to take it and make it a bit more clear. And when we finish, what we're doing when we finish? We're putting them back, and where are we putting the main objective? On top. Okay, so eventually we're gonna have what we're doing in case we have only one. We're just moving it to the top. Let's say we finish this work, we have, we have all the main objective in the top. We're gonna vote. Okay, we're gonna vote based on this question. Which object, if we're gonna put all, en all the energy on it, will bring energy to all the rest? A snowball effect. And we start moving all the rest of the objectives. Okay, how are we voting? Each person getting three votes. Okay, I have three votes, Julia have three votes. And we can use those votes in two ways, we can do, we're doing with our initials, okay? So I'm gonna write here D, D, and I vote two here and one here, okay? So Julia is coming in voting. And this is the second option, to vote one, 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 okay? So each person, three votes, can do two, one, or one, 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 like you see here, regarding to the question, okay? Which object will create this noble effect that's gonna start moving the rest of the objective? When we finish, what we're doing? Celebrating. Celebrating. Yeah.